Here I have a simple rectangular block with some holes. There are four plain holes and four screwed holes. What I can do with PowerShape 2013 is to create a new group manually. So I'm going to change this group to be plain and now I'm going to put all of the plain holes just by drag and drop into that group. I'm going to open a second group. This one I'm going to call screw holes. And simply drag and drop all of the screwed holes into that group. Not only does this make my tree easier to use and easier to read, but I can also turn off individual groups of holes with a single click, giving me much easier management of the tree.